One of Richmond's longest running festivals is returning this year, and the good news is it's in person. Last year, the Second Street Festival was forced to be held virtually, but now organizers are hoping to bring folks back to the historic Jackson Ward neighborhood. On your side at six, Karina Bolster spoke with organizers about how they're working to make sure everybody stays safe. Well, today the lineup for the 33rd annual Second Street Festival was announced and organizers are excited to be back in person for this event in the historic neighborhood. Next weekend, folks will be jamming along with these performers and musicians in person compared to how things were last year. This year we are doing something a little bit different. The COVID-19 pandemic forced the festival to go virtual. Right up, together, left, back. Together. Despite the rise in cases this year, organizers feel confident that the changes they've made will help keep festival goers safe. We cut back with the stages. We typically have four. We're having three. Um, we're asking people to be good neighbors, and that means to be vaccinated, wear your mask, you know, stay socially distanced. While vaccinations are strongly encouraged, those who are not are also encouraged to come with a negative COVID test within 72 hours of the festival. Meanwhile, there are some changes this year when it comes to the kids' activities. We uh, removed the kid zone just to keep the young people and children safe this year and just to allow spaces to be socially distanced. If you do plan on coming, bring your own chair. That's another way organizers are trying to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. While the last 18 months have proved challenging for many Virginians, the hope is for the Second Street Festival to add a bit of positivity as we navigate our way out of the pandemic. I do get that. Even I've gone out to some outdoor events and I'm like, ooh, okay. Great music. Okay, this is what it feels like. Yes, this is a chance to kind of escape a little bit yeah. and find some normalcy. Additionally, the festival is offering free COVID-19 vaccinations on October 2nd for those who are interested. On your side in Richmond's Jackson Ward neighborhood, Karina Bolster, NBC 12 News. Thanks, Karina. And stay with us in just a few minutes. Candace Smith will break down some of the acts that will take the stage at the festival this year. Accurate.